I'm going to sound like your worst Jewish grandmother, but don't show me the dance. Do the dance. Show me the money! Resources. Use them wisely. Take the time to evaluate. Don't just look at everything in this book and just take whatever you want. Read through the material. Find out what's important. Wise teachers use resources wisely. Now, every year you'll get a kinder class who says, I know how to do long division. You just do it like this. Why? Because my Uncle Zeno told me to. That's fine. You'll get those kids. But show them conceptually. Hey, Dr. Bloom, here's my assignment. Is this a present? For me? Sure. I thank you. You'll ask your kids if it's a fair game. So they'll be like, yes. Why? Because I won. And other kids will say, this game sucks. Why? Because I lost. Please excuse me, but it's been a while since I've been teaching. I have to remember how to walk, talk, chew gum all at the same time, teach, etc., etc. You have all this stuff, and then you get more stuff. Now, as teachers, we know how the students actually learn. But some of the people up in Washington, D.C., they just see reading like this. But we're not going to talk about that right now. Before each fight, Lewis said he knew one day some guy would come along and take the title away from me. But not this guy. Never tonight. Now, are you ready for two of the best sentences put together? All right. In 1949, Joe Lewis retired from boxing, undefeated as world champion. In 1950, he was back. Isn't that lovely? At 36, he was old to be a fighter, but he missed the excitement of the ring. Now, turn and talk to your partner. Why do you think Joe Lewis was so excited to come back in the ring? I mean, could you just imagine the energy in that ring? Go talk. So, I really need these lesson plans for these orangutans. Oh. Don't you worry. These students are so gifted at making lesson plans. You'll see some unbelievable things. All right, so I've been waiting all class to tell you this. We have a really cool opportunity coming up. We, before anyone else, are going to see cancer get cured. And actually, it's going to be Hudson who's curing it. And of course, Violet tagging along. Week, we're going to be going to Frankfurt, and we're going to see some amazing things there. Like some of the stuff, you'll be like, all right, that's pretty cool. But some of it, you're going to look at it and be like, oh my gosh, I just want to cry. Hey, by the way, congrats on winning Butler Homecoming King. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys are the worst. Did Kathy put you up to this? Wait till I tell you about the bird thing. So last summer, I was in Arizona on a family vacation, and I found this hole-in-the-wall family store, and I was looking through it, and I saw these really cool dice. Like, each side had its own square root on it, and it was a 20-sided dice. And the math geek in me was like, oh my gosh, Ryan, you have to buy this. And so then I was telling the principal about it, I was like, yeah, you just dust the fairy dust on it, and the fractions flip. And he's like, oh, cool. He didn't get it. So last night I had to take Adeline to gymnastics, and so I'm just waiting there with Abel, and I was showing him a little bit of calculus. Hey, Kathy, I've had a really rough weekend, so I was wondering if I could turn in that paper a little bit late. Are you kidding me? I understand you have things going on in your life, and that's totally understandable. As long as you're keeping me updated, I totally understand. And so when you're doing your teacher research, think about not just what you're doing, but what's the process behind it, 
how we're getting there, and then how are we honoring our children and so that we're empowering them as learners. Do what makes sense to you. So whether that be writing it down on paper, drawing a picture, going home and taking a nap, whatever makes sense to you, go ahead and do it. Yeah, so I've just been working on the student teaching hey, placements. Hey, Katie. Dr. Rosikoff, I don't know what you know about Katie English, but she is a rock star. She is way cool. Sure, sure. Like, I want to be her when I grow up. She's going to have a story for that. Seems like I have a story for everything, right? So, back when I was teaching, I had a student. We'll call him Jay. So, me and my main man, Jay, we were talking, and he was like, I want to be a police officer. And I know with his restrictions that he really realistically could not be a police officer. And so we we're looking at other things in the field of criminal justice that he could realistically do. So back when I taught at Broad Ripple High School, we had a student athlete that was really helpful to kids with disabilities. And you might know him. His name is George Hill. Yeah, he's a cool dude. He's a better person than he is basketball player. Yeah, I go by the work smarter, not harder mentality. So, yeah, just try to work smarter, my class. So, but look at it through your own lenses. That's just my opinion. I want you to be able to critically analyze different things you see. What other questions do you have for me? What do you need from me? Yeah, these lesson plans aren't going to be professional. I like to think of it like a middle school band. Dean Shelley! Oh, friends, come on in! Hi! It's so good, it's so to, good see to see you! you. Yeah. Look at look What at do the, you have for me? We made these presentations for our Reggio presentation. Look at, the, look at my presentation. Oh my gosh! This is amazing! I knew you'd like it. My gosh! Oh, Mallory, of course you have something for me. Unbelievable! You two are just so spectacular, friends. Thanks, Dean Shelley. <laughs> Great.